John O'Brien is the KPU Student Advocacy Coordinator at the Student Rights Center. Natani Castillo will now ask him about his experience at KPU. When did you join the KPU community and why? So ages and ages ago, I started as a student at KPU back in September 2001. So the real original answer is that, yeah, I was a student forever ago. Back when uh, I, think, I think I took two courses that semester for like 350-ish dollars or something like that. Uh, things have changed a bit um, in that respect. But yeah, as a student, uh, just because it was nearby, <laughs> and cheap, and I didn't have a car, and I could get to campus. What is your favorite story of your time at KPU? The bit that actually jumps out at me is like really good was what I like to call the Justice Toilet, which if you ever go to the Clover Cloverdale campus, you should go to the Farrier Barn for open and use the washroom in there. When they built that building, there was no washroom inside. And the program is actually very physically intensive. They're uh, swinging hammers all day long. They're crawling around under horses, pulling the hooves up to trim the nails and do all kinds of very physical stuff. There's a lot of, they do stretches and warm ups and stuff like that. So that, because otherwise the job will just ruin your body. The trade is very hard. Mm -hmm. So they drink a lot of water all day long. And the nearest washroom is halfway across the campus. So you had this small group of people out in the barn outside. And then, you know, if it was raining, they had to go walk across out in the rain and they had to, all their leather gear on it. It's a big process to take it on and off. And it was just adding this extra big step to go halfway across campus to go to the washroom. So we did a campaign to encourage KPU to build a washroom there back when I used to work at the Cloverdale campus. And so we rented a porta potty and stuck it out in front of the of the building and we left it there for months. Uh, and eventually uh, that and like sort of backroom maneuvering and pressuring KPU and and uh, other sort of like public campaigns and stuff we did encourage them to renovate and put in a washroom. I went over there one day after it opened. I was like, can I see the toilet? Can I see the toilet? They're like, yeah, cool. And they piled in because they shoe horses, right? And they have various different community people bring in various different horses at different times. So someone had brought in like a pony, like a, a fairly small pony. And the toilet, the washroom itself was actually quite large because this, the building is pretty big. So there's quite a bit of space and they wanted to make it accessible and everything. So we actually fit most of the students and the pony inside the washroom for a photo. What's something you'd like to say to people new to the KPU community? Right. That's a really good question, because uh, there's there's an awful lot of things to say. Uh, and a lot of time it's, it's hard for us to kind of like tell everybody everything, because there's so many things for people to know. Um, but I guess that's the thing I want to tell people is that there's a lot of things out there for you to know about. Stuff that's happening on campus, services that are available. Um, you know, there, issues are going to come up and you should go find the place to go and ask the real question and get the real answer from the real person. I see people on Facebook sometimes asking strangers in the textbook buy and sell, uh, am I going to be eligible for my student aid next semester or something like that? And I was going to like grab them and say, you should ask student awards and financial assistance. Don't ask strangers on the internet. Go. Over. So go and ask about stuff that affects you. Somebody behind the desk, it's not that bad. They do want to hear from you. They do want to give you the correct answer now before it's too late. There's a whole bunch of different services and people that can help you. And if you're not sure where to find it or uh, if they're going to treat you badly or something like that, or if you do go to them and they do treat you badly, please call me and I will help you through it. What are you working on right now? So in the last uh, six-ish months or something, uh, we've been involved with a, a sort of a group of other student unions from other special purpose teaching universities like, like KPU uh, on trying to help more students know about university governance. So the Senate and Board of Governors and what they do and how they work and what are these meetings about, what kinds of decisions get made there. We're trying to find ways to encourage people to know what's going on there, but also support students that are on them because there are student seats on those, on those committees. Uh, but by and large, most students don't know that they exist. And so when the important issues about, you know, program changes or, or budget changes and stuff like that happen, uh, they find out much, much later. <clears throat> so this decision got made eight months ago, and now everyone's up in arms when it's actually happening. And we want to sort of more, help more students to know what's going on and to help the students that are in there uh, know their options and feel like they can participate um, on an equal footing with the administrators and the, and the faculty reps and stuff like that that are there that they're supposed to be equal to. What is something you'd like people to know about you? 
So one of the most important things I want people to know about the service that I run at the Student Rights Center is that it is what I call student focused and it's confidential. So if you have some problem or you have a question or you're in some kind of tight spot, uh, if you come in to the Student Rights Center and talk to us, we're not going to go tell KPU anything that you tell us. We're not going to go uh, tell you to do what we think is best for you uh, or what the university says is supposed to happen or whatever. We're focused on you and where you're at and what's what you want to do. We want to help you understand your your choices, your options in front of you, and make the best decision for you. And so, like I say, it's student-centered and it's confidential. That's probably the most important part. <laughs>